so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And check out where we're at. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> Guess what happens here? The world's largest single day sporting event. It's a really, really big race. The Indy 500. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to go inside and see all of those really fast race cars in real life. Hey, do you like to go really fast too? <laughs> Great, me too. Well, let's go and start your engines. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This place is awesome! <laughs> I am so excited to learn about so many different things, like race cars and racetracks and what it takes to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> this is so fun! <laughs> Whoa, do you know where we are right now? We're on the track! <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to be on the actual track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> Whoa, and there's so many cool things here. Come on! Whoa, look at it! <laughs> hey, do you know who that is? It's me! <laughs> they even have my name here. Wow, and look what's under me! A lot of seats. Yeah, this is a really big track, so they have lots of seats so they can have lots of people. 250,000 people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Wow, this place is so huge. <laughs> I bet a lot of people and a lot of cars will go here. <laughs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> this track is really big and really long. It's two and a half miles. Woo! <laughs> yeah, two and a half miles. And the drivers do 200 laps. Woo! That means 500 miles. Whoa! Wait a minute. 500 miles in the 500? Oh! <laughs> That's why they call it that. <laughs> so silly. Wow! This is so cool. Can you see what's here? Yeah, look, they have different lines drawn on the ground because we're in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah, this is the part of the track where drivers get, they can come to the side to get new tires or more gas and get ready to keep racing. Yeah, and each one of these boxes has a different car and team. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool here. Well, maybe if we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. <laughs> it's a real life race car. And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, Blippi. Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> You have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah. All right. Goodness. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> Very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. Mm -hmm. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500 and we've got four every time we come in. What? 
$1,500. That's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa. And this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah. We have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let Whoa. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Ooh. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how Whoa. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down, and this is the clutch. So Whoa. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's, it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna little know what paddles. else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. Here's something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? You yeah. don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the oh. faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield and it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks, uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that. So incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head. And as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Whoa, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and Brad. Hey, Hi, nice to meet you, Flippy. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet Blippi, you. So, Flippy, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Oh, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, take up a new tire, slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa, that was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Woo! <laughs> That's really fast. <laughs> well, you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, <laughs> help you. Oh, thanks, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. <laughs> first thing you want to put on some gloves. Okay, first, we want to put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. Okay. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. Whoa, <laughs> that's really heavy. <laughs> I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire, we put it on the race car. <laughs> now, we need to put the wheel nut back 
on the car. And here we go. Now, we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. Nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. What else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. You have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you wanna make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those G-forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. Just want to make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up. Cool. And then push on the forehead and push, push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you, know, you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. So the steering wheel is very heavy. Very heavy. It's very difficult to control the car. So you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are warmed yeah. up. We'll Probably needs surface. really strong arms too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah for Whoa. sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. 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 Whoa. You can make circles with us too. Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for a, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Try Thanks a lunge. Okay, oh, here we go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. Love it. Ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Oh, there's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags and what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Clippy? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. The green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. <laughs> but at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! <laughs> and if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag. <laughs> That means this is a really important flag, and one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? <gasps> you would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. Okay, let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it, the Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936 and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's lots of little faces. <laughs> they're right here. Wow, and they're from so many different years. Hey look, it has their name and the year that they won and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk. 
when hmm. he got out of the race. But <laughs> we've, we've kept that as a tradition, and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Oh, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah. A tradition is something that has been done for a really long time, and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk, as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind. But it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk. It's almost like you won the race. <gasps> it's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> Time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Here we go. Like a pro. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing that you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. Whoa, whoa. I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner trophy, a miniature one. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful. It has wings on the side. <laughs> And it looks like it's made of actual, real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Oh, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely. It was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here. And I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> Wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> well, right now we're inside turn one at the garages and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> Look. Not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast, <laughs> running, <and> driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, you see? Look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> Well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah. It's the color green and the color blue. <laughs> Dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, 
why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you? In a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> wow, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> I have two bow ties. <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go, come on. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> hmm. I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something. Whoa! That was really, really fast! <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again! I think it's time for us to ride! Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers. <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello, yeah, let's go. We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! And this boat is awesome! Because it's not a regular boat, this is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran! <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Whoa! <laughs> But this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> woo <laughs> So silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian, and he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Ooh. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. <laughs> hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! 
That sounds really, really important. Whew. Hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Uh, what's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa, can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving and our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. <laughs> Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with <laughs> the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own homes. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> ah, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm gonna put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa, <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa! Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa! It's so big, just like the small mollusk, and it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum, and it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! 
operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Drove the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look! It looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa! Look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah! This is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because 
Mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch and you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say. Anhinga. Whoa, look, a pelican. Hello, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs, and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish, and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Anhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah, and we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean, so we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful. This is a little tricky. Woo, we did it. <laughs> Look, all 
spill the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs and, mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa. Look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water. The only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Look at it go! The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top! Almost to the top! <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing! <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're gonna take some of this. Plumber's tape. Then I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown up to use scissors to make a little cut. And now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're going to use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't wanna mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape. And you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. P-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! here at Sun Buggy Fun Rentals in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because we get to learn all about different kinds of vehicles <laughs> that go really, really fast. And if we're lucky, 
Maybe we can even drive one. <laughs> Come on, let's go explore. This place. What's Hi. up, Blippi? Hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Whoa! And what is this vehicle you're working on? Right here we have a dune buggy. Whoa, a dune buggy? Well, why do you call it that? We actually specifically designed these machines for the dunes, for hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> Whoa, I love hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> this vehicle is awesome. Whoa, and <laughs> check it out. It has a really big wheel and tire. <laughs> yeah. And you see, this tire has lots of really big treads to grab the sand and the dirt so it can go really fast up those hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> and also has shocks. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and check it out. It's also my favorite color. One of my two favorite colors. Orange! <laughs> uh, but Matt, this looks a little different from a regular car. I can see through it. <laughs> we actually make it like that so the roll cage keeps you safe and you have fun. Whoa, that's always good. Be safe when you're having fun. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's the engine. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Looks like this dune buggy can go really fast. <laughs> These dune buggies can go 35 miles an hour in the sand. Whoa, 35 miles per hour in the sand. <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, I really wish I could ride one of these dune buggies. <laughs> well, do you want to go out to the desert and try one? Would I? That would be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> and really sandy and sunny. <laughs> Matt, where are we? We're in the Mojave Desert. Whoa! The Mojave Desert? Awesome! It sure is sandy here. And it looks like there are lots of hilly sand and Looks like sand everywhere, really. <laughs> yeah, those hills are sand dunes. Oh, sand dunes? Did someone make them? Nope, just nature, wind and sand. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute, sand dune, dune buggy? Do we get to ride on the sand dunes? Just you today. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I am so excited to ride on a sand dune and drive a dune buggy. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at all these vehicles. <laughs> hey, I know this one. It's a dune buggy. Mm, but Matt, where th what's this vehicle over here? This one over here? Yeah. This is a UTV, a utility vehicle. Whoa, a UTV, awesome. It looks kind of like a dune buggy. It has four wheels. One, two, three, Four, but you can't see through it. <laughs> and it looks a little bit different. It also has uh, one of these. What's it has a called? roll cage, just like the dune buggy. Oh, cool. A roll cage, so it's nice and safe. <laughs> uh, but Matt, what's this back here? Is this, this the is, trunk? <laughs> this is a bed like a truck. Whoa, that's really handy. So I guess if you're on a farm and you need to put tools in it, yeah. you have a trunk. So yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, and check it out. There's another vehicle over here. <laughs> Whoa. This one is our ATV. This is an all-terrain vehicle. ATV, all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, it's a little bit smaller than the other two, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks super fast <laughs> and has four wheels, but Matt, it doesn't have a steering wheel. No steering wheel? These are called handlebars. Whoa, just like a motorcycle or a bicycle? <laughs> This looks pretty fun, but I want to ride the dune buggy over the dunes. <laughs> I'm also really excited to ride it because it's one of my two favorite colors, orange. <laughs> okay, Matt, I think I'm all ready to start driving, but what's the first thing I need to know before I drive the dune buggy? The first rule for driving dune buggies is always safety. Safety first. <laughs> okay, I want to be really safe, so What's the first safety thing I need to know? So we're gonna get you inside of the dune buggy and we're gonna put your seat belts on first. Okay, seat belt first. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get your seat belt on. Awesome. Here we go. And this buckle here is gonna connect your two seat belts. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. All strapped in. So what's the next thing I need? Next, and this dune buggy is gonna be your hand straps. These okay. keep your hands inside of the ride at all times. Okay. <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> Great. Okay. And, uh, but how do I drive the dune buggy? So this dune buggy is automatic, just like a car. Ooh, uh, so where do I put the key? <laughs> no key today. <laughs> you just have a switch and a button. Okay. So when you're ready to go, switch goes up, you hit that button, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> First, let's get your helmet, okay? Okay, we'll put on the helmet. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, helmet on. All right, now, make sure your helmet is strapped tight. Pull the strap through the loop. Perfect. Ooh. And goggles! <laughs> okay. We want to put on our goggles so we don't have any sand in our eyes. <laughs> it looks like I'm all ready to go. All right. Have fun, Blippi. Woohoo! See you soon. You did great! Yeah! <laughs> you wanna try the ATV now? Yeah! Come on! Let's, Let's try it out! Alright, so this one, a little easier than the dune buggy to start. So you have your key on the right side there. Go ahead and turn your key for me. Okay. Key's on. Alright, so now with that thumb, press that button there for me. This one right here? Yep. Okay. And where's the gas pedal? So, where your thumb is, that's your gas pedal. Okay, here we go. Great! Whew. That was so much fun! Well, we rode the dune buggy and the ATV. You want to try the UTV? Yeah! Alright, don't forget your seatbelt, just like your car. Here we go. And this one is like the ATV. Turn your key to the right, and it'll go ahead and start. Okay. Right. Have fun! Here we go! Bye-bye! Do you hear that? Do you know what kind of vehicle makes that sound? <laughs> yeah! A truck or a car! Hey! For this next song, let's dance like we're driving a car! Hit the gas! Hit the gas! Hit the brake! Hit the brake! Hear the engine! Hear the engine! Do a figure eight! Well, you can 
Find out when your car needs to go fast You wanna put your foot down and hit the gas If there's something ahead and you need to make A sudden stop, then hit the brake It's alright, and it's okay Make sure that you look both ways With your hand at nine and your hand at one Let's go for a drive, let's have some fun Hit the gas Hit the gas Hit the brake Hit the brake Hear the engine Figure eight. Do a figure eight. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Flippy boogie. Flippy boogie. All day and night. All day and night. Now you can see from the mirrors on my car. From behind, I can see very far. This is important if I need to break, or especially when I overtake. It's all right, and it's okay. We take it at our own pace. One hand at ten, the other at two. Go for a ride, you know what to do. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Hear the engine. Hear the engine. Do a figure eight. some good driving. Wow! That was awesome! I had so much fun with you here at Sun Buggies in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we learned so much together. We learned all about ATVs, UTVs and dune buggies. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Lippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Let's ride. <laughs> Hi, and I'm Mika, and we are at Adventure City in Anaheim, California. Yeah, <laughs> and at this place, they have a lot of fun rides. Yes, and I love going on rides. Me too. <laughs> have you ever been on a ride before? <laughs> yeah, no. let's go. Come on. are you most excited for? Oh, oh, I hope they have a carousel. <laughs> oh, cool, yeah, with all those horses. Yeah, what about you? Uh, maybe a roller coaster. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, no. Oh, cool, a, a train. train. Whoa. Wow. Wow, this looks like this could be our very first ride. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, all right. Here, Here you are, go. Blippi. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I like this train. It's the color red. Yeah, and I like this big green stripe that goes across. Oh, yeah, and the two yellow stripes. Mm -hmm. They're <laughs> nice. And what do we say? All aboard! <laughs> Whoa, wow. this is so cool. Yeah. Choo choo! <laughs> what a fun way to see the park. Whoa! Whoa! They go really high! Whoa, that looks fun! Whoa! Wow! Wow! I'm Whoa. so excited to ride all these rides! Me too, and Blippi, I think I found your roller coaster! Whoa! Cool! <laughs> A roller coaster! Whoa! It 
likes orange and yellow. I'm hey. definitely gonna ride that one You later. love orange. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Whoa, we're in a tunnel. It's like we're in a mining cave. Yeah, this is awesome. And look, water, a waterfall. Oh, oh that looks so refreshing. Yeah, it's really pretty here. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. where are we now? Oh, it looks like the jungle. Oh, cool. Cool. See what other rides they have here? Yeah, I can't wait to see which one we're gonna go on next. All right, let's go. Okay, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, wow. check it out. Look at this ride. Yeah, it looks awesome. Look at those smiley faces. Yeah, this ride is the Giggle Wheel. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, shall we ride it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hmm. Whoa. Would you like to go first or me? Oh, I'll get in first if you don't mind. All right. <laughs> Whoa, thank you. All right, buckle up. Thank you. Whoa, see ya, Blippi. See ya. Whoa, I'm up really high. Yeah, you are. All right. Here we go, thank you very much. Woohoo! All right, thank you. All right, I'm buckled up. Here I come, Mika! <laughs> now you're going up high. Yeah, and you're down low. <laughs> Wow, this giggle wheel was so much fun! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, check it out, Mika! Yeah, a carousel! Let's go! All right! It just stopped. That means we can go now. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You ready to ride the carousel? Yeah. yeah. Thank in. you. All right. Mm, All right. Let's see. Here we go. Whoa. Cool. There's so many different colors to choose from. Yeah. This I one. really like this one. Really? I like this purple and this blue here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yellow and green. Yeah, I love all of these colors so much. Yeah, and I love horses. You do? Do yeah. you know what sound a horse makes? I do, I okay, do. Okay, show them. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was very good. <laughs> Nay. Nay. <laughs> okay, so is this the one that you want to ride? I think so. Okay, and let's see. <laughs> Maybe I'll ride this one. Oh, yeah. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Whoa. Yeah. This horse is black. Yeah. Look at the bright green right there on the saddle. Yeah. Oh, and it even has gold and red. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a very cool looking horse, Blippi. Great choice. <laughs> Thanks. Well, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> First, we have to buckle up for safety. That's right. All right. All right, buckle in. <laughs> Me too. All right, giddy up, horsey. All right, I'll race ya. All right, giddy up. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Giddy up, horsey, giddy Woo up. Catch me! Let's go! 
It's like we're riding horses in the countryside. Oh, I love it. Wind blowing through our hair, That's fresh right. air. We have fun. Yeah, we do. <laughs> See what other rides they have? Yeah, let's check it out. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. See you later. Have a good day. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, check this out. Wow, what's over here? Whoa, a lot of mist. Whoa, mist? Yeah. Mist. That's just really teeny, teeny, tiny particles of water. Whoa, well, what do we do? You want to go inside? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Okay. Whoa. Whoa! All right, here we go! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Lily, where are you? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Mika! Whoa. It's like being in a Whoa. That was so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Coaster. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to ride the roller coaster with me? Uh, I don't think I'm ready for that kind of ride. Oh, that's okay, Mika. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll find something else to do, but you can go on it if you want. Okay, we'll meet up later, all okay. right? Sounds good. All right, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, this is the Freeway Coaster. Wow. All right, this one is the color purple. Ooh, a black cart. Oh, a blue cart. A red cart. And the last cart, a yellow cart. Hmm, what cart should we ride? Huh. Hey, how about the blue cart? Yeah, it's one of my two favorite colors. You knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> He's just making sure everything is nice and safe, and he made sure this is tight. Woohoo! I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Wow, we were going so fast. <laughs> Woohoo! I wonder what Mika is up to. <laughs> wow! <gasps> There's a petting farm here. Come on! Wow! Oh, chicken feed. There's chickens here. Oh, hi, chickens. Hi, I'm Mika. Hmm. <gasps> this food is for the chickens inside the coop. Let's see. It says it's 25 cents and I have a quarter. <laughs> All right, let's see. Whoa, look. It brought out some food for the chickens. All right, chickens, are you hungry? Here you go. Here's a yummy snack for you. <laughs> that chicken looks really hungry. Eat up. Snack time. It looks like it's some dried corn. Nice and healthy. Oh, you want a little bit more? Here you go. Wow. 
there's so many different kinds of chickens in here. Like a white one. That one looks black and has some orange feathers in there. Wow. Nice to meet you, chickens. What other animal friends are here? Hmm. Let's go look. Bye, chickens. Nice meeting you. Let's see if there are more animals here. Come on. Whoa, goats. Hi, goats. I'm Mika. Oh, look. There's some snacks for the goat. Oh, here you go. Ooh, this goat's really hungry. <laughs> wow, look into the ice cream cone. I didn't know goats like ice cream cones. <laughs> Let's go inside and hang out with them. Come on. It says, enter. I guess we can. Oh, take this little brush with us. Hi, goats. Hi. Who wants a nice brush? Come on over. Come on. <laughs> Come on over. Nope. Hmm, maybe they don't want to get brushed. Sometimes I don't like to get my hair brushed either. <laughs> Let's see. Aw, so nice. And it's so soft. It's really good to take care of animals. See how nice its hair looks? Oh, hi. Aw, you want some love too? I'll brush you so you look nice and clean. Aww, this is so cool. We can ride rides and hang out with animals. This place is amazing. I wonder if Blippi went on the big roller coaster. Let's find out. <laughs> Bye, goats. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> Whoa, oh, hey, Mika. Hey, Blippi. Oh, how was your time? Oh, it was really fun. Super cute goats. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yeah. I got to ride the freeway coaster. Whoa, did you like it? Yeah, it was really intense. Oh, I'm <laughs> glad that you liked it. Oh, thanks, Mika. Well, shall we hop back on the train? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, there it is. Cool. <laughs> Did you like all these rides? Awesome. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I, Flippy! Will you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H Mika. Mika! Yeah! All right, see you again! Today, we are here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited because you and I get to learn about planes. 
Whoa! <laughs> Planes are awesome! Yeah, they're things that people have built so you can fly in the sky. <laughs> hey, do you think of something else that flies in the sky? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, birds! Woo! <laughs> Whoa, I think planes are so cool because they let people fly just like birds. And today, we get to see some really awesome planes. Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This plane is so big! It's called the Short Sutherland MR5! Wow! And check it out! It has massive propellers! <laughs> yeah! Two on each wing. Two on one wing and two on the other wing. Two and two means four propellers. What? <laughs> Not so many! <laughs> Whoa! And this plane is really big. Yeah, it's 30 feet tall oh, <laughs> and 85 feet long. <laughs> yeah, and it has a wingspan of 112 feet. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and do you notice anything interesting about this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it's the bottom of the plane. Hmm. It looks kind of like a boat. And do you notice the windows? <laughs> yeah, the windows are circles. And maybe you've seen those on a boat or a submarine before. <laughs> yeah, do you know why that is? That's because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yeah, and there are two kinds of seaplanes. There are float planes and flying boats. <laughs> yeah. A float plane is just a regular plane with floaties on the bottom. But a flying boat is a boat on the bottom. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Whoa! <laughs> it's made of metal! It's so musical! <laughs> Whoa! That is awesome! It's really important that the Short Sutherland MR5 is a flying boat because it was built a long time ago. Yeah, and it would fly really far distances across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't a lot of places for it to land on the land, so it could just land in the water. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, let's go take a look inside. Come on. <laughs> Let's keep exploring! <laughs> oh. helicopter. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> this is fun. Driving the helicopter. Whoa! <laughs> this is really cool. Whoa! It's so bright and yellow. Yeah! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! It's a real life rescue helicopter. Yeah! Whoa! It is so cool and so bright. Yeah, it's the color yellow. <laughs> yeah, 
and it's really important that it's a bright color like yellow. So if you need rescuing, you can see it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> this looks familiar. It looks like the same kinds of floaties on a seaplane. <laughs> this is in case it needs to land, it can float in the water. <laughs> wow, you see up there? Look, it's a really big propeller. Whoa! <laughs> Woo, yeah! A propeller on a rescue helicopter is so strong and so fast, so it can go through any kinds of weather. If it's really windy, or really rainy. <laughs> It'll be able to make it through the storm. Wow, oh. hmm. and what's this? <laughs> There's a duck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Blippi. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine, just being a duck. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, no way. It's the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, and you see there's a window. That window's really important because the pilot can look out and make sure the rescue is going great. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here, come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The most important part of a helicopter rescue mission. Yeah, this is the winch. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The winch is what someone would clip onto. Yeah, so they could drop down from the helicopter and save someone. Yeah, they just grab on tight and whoa, <laughs> up they go back into the helicopter. Whoa, <laughs> and once they were inside, there would be a doctor and maybe a snack. <laughs> so they would be nice and safe. Wow, look at it. There's beds and lots of seats and floaty devices. <laughs> Whoa, helicopters are awesome. <laughs> Free. where we are. We're inside of a hangar. Yeah, a hangar is a place where they store all kinds of jets and airplanes. Whoa, and look at this jet. Let's go look at the cockpit. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is awesome. This jet is called the Tornado. <laughs> Whoa and it goes really fast. Yeah, look at it. This right here is the cockpit. That's the place where the pilot sits to steer the plane. Ring, ring. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. There's another seat right behind the pilot. Yeah, that's where the navigator sits and he makes sure that you're going in the right direction. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big and so cool. <laughs> hey. And look here, it has really big wings. Whoa, huh. And it looks like the wings can open up. Yeah, they open up so the plane can do different things. When they're really open, really wide, it helps the plane be nice and stable to land. But if this jet wants to go really, really fast, they close up, woo, to zoom away. <laughs> yeah, and that's really helpful because the tornado likes to fly low. Yeah, really low. Sometimes as low as a tree. Whoa. <laughs> well, we better go see some more jets. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many planes and jets here in the hangar. Yeah. Whoa, and look at the back of the tornado. Whoa, <laughs> this is where the jet engines are. Yeah, look, this one doesn't have an engine in it right now. But look, this one does. <laughs> Ooh, hello, <laughs> it's so shiny. Yeah, these jets can go so fast. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh, let's go see if we can find some more. I think, 
this is another jet. Yeah, this jet right here is called a buccaneer. Yeah, a buccaneer. Do you know why it's called that? Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I bet it's called that because these planes take off from aircraft carriers. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what an aircraft carrier is? Yeah, they're really big boats that store lots of planes. And do you see this wing? Yeah, look, the wing, they fold. <laughs> yeah, they fold just like your arm can fold or a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, they fold so you can fit lots of planes tight together on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, and look, it has really big wheels and tires. <laughs> kind of like a car but that helps the plane land nice and safe and roll smoothly down the runway. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> Ooh, I think I see another plane, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> wow, this plane is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Do you see the plane hanging above me? Yeah, it's called a Harrier. <laughs> yeah, a Harrier. Whoa, it's also called a jump plane. Hmm, a jump plane. <laughs> I like to jump. Will you jump with me? Okay, let's jump like a jump plane. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was really fun jumping together. Do you know why it's called a jump plane? Yeah, that's because it has really powerful engines that can change direction. Yeah, instead of going out of the back of the airplane, they can go <coughs> under the airplane and it can take off straight up like a helicopter. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I see one last plane that we should look at, come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see it? Hmm, do you see another plane? Hmm, I see one too. It's enormous, it's gigantic. It's the Hercules. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It has a really big nose. Oh yeah, that's what the front of a jet or plane is called, the nose. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and this one has a really big nose. Look, it's the color black. <laughs> Hercules planes are so cool because they're so big. They're so big that they can even transport and carry people and vehicles. <laughs> Whoa, that's really big. This plane can carry cars and trucks. What? <laughs> wow, these jets are so cool. We should keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Mach 2. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun riding in the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> uh, but this plane looks a little small. Hey, why don't you and I try to find a real cockpit? Whoa, and a really big plane. <laughs> Come on, let's keep exploring. Look at what I'm wearing. This is an actual flight jacket. <laughs> yeah. This is what a pilot would wear if they were flying in an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And check it out. Come on. <laughs> it's one of my favorite airplanes. It's a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. And there's a person. Let's go say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Whoa, could you tell me a little bit about this airplane? Yeah, this is a Spitfire. Whoa. It's one of the most beautiful aircraft we have here. <laughs> Whoa, I love this Spitfire. It's so cool. And it's camouflage. Whoa, <laughs> is it green and gray on the top and bottom? Yeah, it's a little bit blue, 
on the on the on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. I bet that's so that if you're on the ground, you can't see it in the sky. That's right. Whoa. Blending in. <laughs> uh, Chris, would it be okay if I got in the Spitfire? Mm, okay. <gasps> no way! We get to sit in the cockpit of a real life Spitfire? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, here we go! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Check it out! I'm in the cockpit of a Spitfire! <laughs> yeah! This is so cool! Whoa! Chris, what are all these buttons and controls? Yeah, there's so many buttons, aren't there? Yeah. So they tell you like how fast you're going or how much fuel you have or even where you're going. Whoa, that's so cool! It looks like there's all these different dials, and levers, and buttons. Oh, and is this the steering wheel? Yeah, it's called a spade grip. It looks a bit like a small wheel. Whoa, <laughs> spade grip. And does that turn the plane left and right? Yeah, that makes it go up and down. If you want to go left and right, you have to press those pedals at the bottom. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, there are pedals so you can move the plane left and right with your feet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, and what's this with my left hand? What's that? What do you think it is? Well, it says, oh, <laughs> I see what that says, throttle. Wow. So that makes it go faster. Whoa, <laughs> faster and slower. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh, and what's this over here do? Oh, it looks like it's connected to, to wheels. Why does it need wheels? Yeah, so if you're in the air, you can pull the lever and the wheels go up. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to be a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me about the Spitfire, Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy the flight. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a flight simulator. We've seen so many cool planes and now we get to feel what it's like to fly in one. <laughs> yeah. And this simulator simulates, or makes it feel like, they're really ultra low flights. So you're in a plane really low to the ground. And we're gonna be exploring the country, Wales. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. today here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. We got to see airplanes and jets and rescue helicopters. <laughs> I even got to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. OK. B L I. P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're here on the River Thames in London, England. And I am so excited because we're riding on a party boat where we can dance <laughs> and have tea parties. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. We better go inside because it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna go down the River Thames. Yeah, it's a really long river. It's actually the longest river in England. It's 214 miles long. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and maybe we'll see some amazing sights all over the city. We might even get to go under some bridges. <laughs> so keep your eyes open. There are so many cool buildings to see when you're on the Thames. <laughs> yeah, look at this building. Whoa, it's called the Walkie Talkie. <laughs> yeah, hello. 
Hello, Blippi. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. You know why it's called the walkie-talkie? Look. Whoa. It's shaped just like a walkie-talkie. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. And look at this building. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's so tall. Yeah. It's made out of glass and metal and it's very triangular. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Do you see that? Yeah, that bridge right there is the London Bridge. Whoa, have you heard of the London Bridge before? <laughs> I bet you've heard the song, London Bridge is Falling Down. <laughs> I like that song too. There are awesome bridges. And speaking of bridges, I think I see a bridge coming up. Whoa, this bridge is really, really big. It's called Tower Bridge, <laughs> yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's the HMS Belfast. Wow, that boat is a little bigger than the boat we're on now. <laughs> it's really big. Wow, and it's so many colors. Yeah, it looks like different shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, gray. Whoa, <laughs> we made it to another bridge. Yeah, it's called Tower Bridge, and it is so big and so cool. Look at it. Tower Bridge has big towers, but it's also a bridge, so cars can drive over it, and boats can float under it. It's so tall, yeah, and so beautifully built. It looks old with stones and flags. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Whoa! and do you see that? Yeah, right there in the center of the bridge, it breaks. Yeah, there's two parts of the bridge. It's a bascule bridge. Mm -hmm. And that means that the bridge can open up <laughs> and make really a lot of room for if there are big boats, they can just sail through the center. Yeah, it's a bascule bridge. <laughs> it opens up. <laughs> Whoa, this was so much fun. Taking off from the dock and going down the River Thames. Hmm but I think it's getting a little chillier. Yeah, it's pretty cold out. So let's go inside, and see what's on the inside of the boat. <laughs> Whoa, we're inside the boat, <laughs> yeah. And it looks like I'm still getting my sea legs. Whoa, <laughs> it's so bumpy, yeah. <laughs> hey, and look where we are. It looks like we're on a dance floor, yeah. There's some wood floors so you can dance on it. <laughs> and there are speakers. And it looks like some really cool lights to have a dance party. Whoa! <laughs> but let's wait until it gets dark so all the lights look even better. <laughs> Wonder what's behind these two doors. Come on. Hello. Hi, can I come up there? Push again. Whoa! Looks like it's where the captain is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Hi, what's your name? I'm um, John. John, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Blippi. I'm Blippi. <laughs> oh, John, are you the captain of the boat? I am, yes. Whoa, this is a really cool boat you have. Whoa, and what's this right here? It's a steering wheel. Whoa, it looks really cool <laughs> and old. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Whoa, is it fun being a captain of a boat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> would you like to have a drive? <gasps> Whoa, would I? That would be awesome. <laughs> Whoa, I'm driving and steering the boat. <laughs> so if I want to go to the left, do I just turn the wheel? Yeah, yeah, not too much. Just a little bit at a time. Okay. Whoa, and now the boat's going to the left. And if I want to go to the right? There you go. Just a little bit at a time. <laughs> don't want to go too fast. You can go a bit more that way to the right. Whoa. 
<laughs> I'm steering the boat. Whoa, John, this is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, and what do these up here do? These are your engine revs and speed and fuel and Whoa. navigation lights for when it's dark. Whoa, that's so cool. There are navigation lights if it's dark and it tells you how much fuel you have. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's probably good that John is steering the boat. <laughs> He's a really good captain. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for letting me drive the boat. <laughs> no problem. I'll see you soon. See you soon, Blippi. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> We better let John, the captain, steer the boat. <laughs> we should go exploring. Let's go downstairs. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. Look, it's the Cuddy Sark. Whoa. It's so fast and big and so old. <laughs> yeah, this boat was one of the fastest boats of its time over 150 years ago. Yeah, it was a boat that could do the China Tea Run. Yeah, it would take tea from China and it would trade. And it would also do the Australian Wool Run. <laughs> Whoa, it was so fast and it's so old. <laughs> Hello, Cuddy Sark. Look at what it is. It's the Millennium Dome. <laughs> Whoa. And check it out. It has yellow towers. They kind of look like spikes. And the dome is the color white. <laughs> yeah, the Millennium Dome is a great place to go see concerts and to eat yummy food. <laughs> hey, do you know what a millennium is? Yeah, a millennium is 1,000 years. So they built the Millennium Dome in the year 2000 to commemorate a new millennium. Whoa, and it opened in 1999 on New Year's Eve. Whoa, it's so cool. It looks like it was really hard to build this building. <laughs> There, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Josh. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Josh. What's this? This is your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea? <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Josh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Afternoon tea? That sounds so delicious. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are so many cool things here. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Look, there are scones sandwiches and sweets. <laughs> the three S's of an afternoon tea. Yeah, look, here at the top, we have some very colorful macarons. And the most important part of a tea party is tea. <laughs> we have our teacup, a spoon, and a saucer. <laughs> and <gasps> A tea kettle with tea. <laughs> okay, it's time to pour the tea. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it looks so tasty. Yeah, have you ever had tea before? Whoa, Ooh, I'm gonna wait to take a sip because it's so hot from the hot water. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with some tasty treats. Hmm. What should we try first? I think, let's start, hmm, maybe. Oh, I think I'm gonna start from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, look, we'll take a scone and I'm gonna pull it apart like this. Yeah, and spread some clotted cream and some jam on it. Mmm, tasty. Okay, it's time to try. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, this scone was delicious. <laughs> it's so tasty. <laughs> well, I'll just take a bite because we have so many treats to try. Mm. Let's try a sandwich next. 
first, hmm, we can try a cheese sandwich. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Next, do the cucumber sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Finally, I think this is the one. Whoa, a salmon sandwich. Whoa, look, it has cream cheese and salmon. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, that was delicious. We tried the scones and we tried the sandwiches. The only thing left are the sweets. I'm gonna take a spoon and Take a little bite. Oh, time to try the sponge cake. Whoa, all the snacks at a tea party <laughs> are so delicious. The only thing left for us to try is the tea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so tasty! Mm, so refreshing! So delicious! <laughs> wow! I love having tea parties! So many yummy foods to eat! And tea is so tasty! And the best part about a tea party is spending time with your friends! <laughs> Whoa! I've had so much fun seeing so many sights and dancing that it's nighttime now! Whoa! And check it out! Tower Bridge is right ahead! It is so beautiful at night! It's all lit up and you can see the cars driving over the bridge and boats like this one floating under the bridge! Yeah! Are you ready? Here it comes! Hello! It's so beautiful! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! It's so beautiful! It's all lit up in blue and white! <laughs> hey! If it's nighttime, I bet the lights inside on the dance floor will be perfect! <laughs> I think we should go inside the boat and do some dancing! <laughs> DJ, let's go! Play some music! So much fun learning all about boats! Woo! <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun today! We rode a boat and saw so many amazing sights in London! And I even got to have a tea party <laughs> with you! It was so yummy and amazing! Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay! B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Woo! Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we're here in Santa Ana, California. And I am so excited because you and I get to check out a Smash My Trash Truck <laughs> and learn about what happens after you throw away your garbage. <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Check it out! It's so big! <laughs> this is a Smash My Trash Truck, and it looks very familiar. Hmm, it has a cab and a boom. It looks just like an excavator, <laughs> but it's a little different. An excavator is yellow. 
But this Smash My Trash Truck is the color red. <laughs> and this truck doesn't dig dirt like an excavator. It smashes trash! <laughs> Ooh, let's get a closer look. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> hey, this is the cab. Yeah, that's where the operator sits. And look, that's Operator Max. <laughs> yeah, he has all the controls to control the boom. <laughs> and he can see everything that's happening so he can keep people safe. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, this is a really big and important part of the Smash My Trash Chuck. It's the Smashing Drum. <laughs> Not that kind of drum. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> no, this drum helps to smash the trash. Yeah, it's really big and really heavy. And chew up trash or wood or metal. <laughs> Whoa, basically anything but not concrete. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see this? Yeah, look. The smashing drum has really big teeth. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, really big teeth to get into all that trash. <laughs> Whoa, it's so huge and it's so heavy. To move this truck around, you need really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Whoa, they're so big. They're as big as me. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, look, this truck, it doesn't dig dirt and it doesn't just drive around. Because it has to smash trash, we need the trash. And we have it right here. <laughs> Whoa, this, it's kind of like a garbage can, but this, it's not a garbage can. It's a 40 foot hauling bin. <laughs> Whoa, that is so big. Yeah, it's so big that it can hold up to 10 tons of trash. Whoa, <laughs> and they use these to take the trash from a garbage can to the bin and to the bin to a landfill. Yeah, or a dump. <laughs> but when we're smashing the trash inside the hauling bin, we need to use wheel chucks. <laughs> Whoa, see? Yeah, these bins can be moved around, but when we're smashing it, the wheel chucks keep it in place so it doesn't shake or move when we're smashing the trash. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this is so awesome. <laughs> it's so big. Hmm, it would be really cool and fun to see some trash get smashed. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a person. Let's go say hello. Come on. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> is this your truck? Yes, it is. Whoa! <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun learning all about it. But I have a question. Why do you want to smash your trash? Well, it's simple. It's a couple of reasons. One, let's talk about the environment for a second. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, this trash has to go somewhere, correct? Yeah, like a landfill or a dump? Exactly. Oh. So what this truck does, it comes down, it's going to smash it, it's going to tear it, it's going to rip it, and it's going to compact it so Whoa. it doesn't take up so much space in the landfill. Oh, did you hear that? By smashing the trash, it makes the trash smaller. So it doesn't take up as much room, and you can put more trash in the landfill, but keep it nice and clean. <laughs> Absolutely. Also, what we do by smashing it down, now we're able to fill this bin a second and third time, so we eliminate the trucks on the roads that haul the trash away. Whoa! No trucks on the road means it's better for the environment. And you can refill this bin two times? Three times? Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of trash. <laughs> and most important, we save the customer money so they don't have to haul away as frequently. <laughs> and that's important too. <laughs> uh, do you think we could see some trash get smashed? Absolutely. <laughs> Great! I'm gonna just go run over there and start the truck up and you watch Max start smashing. <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to see the Smash My Trash Truck crush some trash! It's gonna make it so small and compact, and it'll make it better for the environment! <laughs> Whoa! And check out the bin! <laughs> Whoa! There's so much trash here! Look, there's cardboard and paper. Whoa! And it looks like a really big metal bin! 
<laughs> okay, it's getting started. <laughs> Let's back up a little so we're not too close and nice and safe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, check out the boom. <laughs> it's so tall. Check it out. <laughs> Smashing drum is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Do you see that? The smashing drone is turning and grinding up all the trash to make it smaller. Yeah, it's more compact. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! The trash was this high, and now it's really low. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no way! There was a big plastic barrel, and it chopped it in a lot of pieces. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Whoa, this truck is so powerful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! Hi, Steve! Hi, Blippi! <laughs> that was so fun smashing the trash! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it, because you know what? We have another bin to smash right now! Whoa! We have another bin to smash? Do you think I could smash it? I'm thinking you should be smashing it. Oh, that would be so great! <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's go smash some trash. All righty. <laughs> oh, hi, Max. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. Do you think you could show me how to smash some trash? Of course, hop on in the cab. Okay, great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. I'm climbing into the cab of the truck. <laughs> Whoa. Close that for you. I'll close the door. Safety first. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm in the cab. Yeah. Well, Max, I really want to smash some trash, but I don't know how to start. Okay. First, let me go ahead and show you how to turn the machine on. Okay. Grab that key. Okay. And flip it to the right. Oh, it uses a key just like a car. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. And then once I turn it on, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and lower the boom by pressing the left joystick. Whoa. Take the left joystick. Press it up. And I'll move it up. Yes. And then once I lower the drum, what do I do next? You're gonna go ahead and start rotating the drum by using the second joystick. Okay. And then the second joystick, gonna move that forward and backward and forward. <laughs> well, I think I know everything I need. There you go. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Crushing trash with the Smash My Trash Truck. And it was really interesting learning about where garbage goes once you throw it away. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Whoa. Hey, it's me, Blippy. And look at what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm on a hike. Whoa, I've been hiking for a very long time today. Yeah, and I think I made it to the top of a mountain. Whoa, this mountain has a lot of bushes, shrubs, trees. Whoa, and really big rocks. 
so cool. Wow, I love going on hikes because you get out in nature, you smell the fresh air. <sighs> wow, and look at how high we are up here on the mountain. You can see so many mountains. Hello, mountains. Hello, mountains. Whoa, did you hear it echo? That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> oh, look. Do you see that? That looks like a big dome. Yeah, that must be where a telescope is. Yeah, today we're at Mount Wilson Observatory on Mount Wilson in California. And this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go explore! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This dome is massive! Wow, it is so big. There's definitely a telescope inside there. Yeah, do you know what a telescope is? Yeah, it's a piece of equipment used to peer out into outer space. You can see planets, you can see stars, and all sorts of cool things. Yeah, the people that go into outer space are called astronauts. Yeah, but the people from Earth that study outer space are called astronomers. Today, you and I can be astronomers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that echo? Yeah, that's because we're in the dome. So cool. Yeah, and speaking of cool, yeah, check it out. This is the telescope. Oh, I sure do love that color. Yeah, it's the color blue. You already know, it's one of my two favorite colors. Whoa, do you know how a telescope works? Yeah, basically, there's an opening up top, way up there. Some light enters, say from a star or a planet, and then it bounces off some mirrors, and then it goes to the eyepiece. Oh, the eyepiece? Yeah! Whoa. Check it out! Yeah, this is what you look through to see things at night with the telescope. Whoa! Yeah! Do you want to see what you could see with this exact telescope if it was nighttime? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, do you see that? That is the planet Saturn! Whoa! And I know it's Saturn because of all those colorful rings. So cool! Ooh, and what's that? Yeah! That's our planet Jupiter! That's the biggest planet in our solar system. Whoa, it's so big! Whoa! And it looks like Jupiter has a lot of moons! Wow! <laughs> yeah, planet Earth, we only have one moon. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Yeah, looks like Andromeda Galaxy! That is the closest galaxy to our galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way Galaxy. Whoa! Oh, and what's that? Ooh, Orion Nebula! Yeah, that is where all the stars are born in our galaxy. Whoa, <laughs> this telescope is awesome. And how it sees all these things in outer space, since they're in different locations, that means this telescope moves. <laughs> Maybe we can go to the control board and move the telescope ourselves. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa so many stairs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Hi. I'm Blippi. What do Good you do here? You. I'm the telescope operator. Ooh, the telescope operator. Yes. So that means you push buttons to make the telescope go left, right, up, down. That's right. Wow. Why do you have a computer here, Tom? This uh, tells me the address of what I want to look at. If mm -hmm. I want to look at this star, uh -huh. it tells me where to look. Wow. That's really cool. He needs a computer to have the address of, say, a planet or a star, and that tells him where to point the telescope at. Right. 
Wow, oh, that is really cool. And why do you have a clock way over there? Well, I have to tell the time. This is star time. Ooh, star time? Exactly. It's oh. called a sidereal clock. Ooh, a sidereal clock. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you can't look at stars during the day. <laughs> Ooh, and what are all these buttons? These are to move the telescope. I have to point, move the scope to the star or object I want to look at. Ooh, N-E-S-W. North, East, South, West? That's right. Whoa, cool. And Tom, do you mind if we like operate the telescope and maybe make something move? Sure, let's open up the dome first. Cool. Would you push that button, please? This button? Yes. All right, here we go. Really cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. And uh, what else does the telescope do? Well, we have to move the dome around. We have to point it in different directions. Oh. Wait here a second. Let me let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you think of that? Wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for showing me this awesome telescope! Glad to have you here. All right, see you later! So long. Bye-bye! Bye! Whoa, check it out! We're at the Astronomical Museum! Yeah, and at this place, they have a lot of really cool old gadgets that they used to use to learn about outer space. Shall we? Look at these! Whoa, they look like wheels! Yeah, like wheels on a car. <laughs> but actually, these are wheels that are on the dome, so then the dome can spin around. So cool! <laughs> Whoa, yeah! I know what this is. It kind of looks like a telescope, doesn't it? Yeah! Ooh! Yeah, whoa, you can see stars with this, planets, whoa, other galaxies maybe. Oh, cool. Whoops, excuse me. <laughs> whoa, look. This is a really big piece of glass. Wow. Yeah, remember how telescopes work? Yeah, you have a mirror and another mirror and light bounces back and then eventually after it bounces off a couple mirrors then it goes into the eyepiece and this piece of glass used to have silver on it so then it was really shiny like a mirror <laughs> oh speaking of mirrors look there's a mirror right over there whoa whoa hello yeah this mirror came from a real telescope a very old one, of course. Yeah, because we're at a museum. Well, shall we keep learning about telescopes and outer space? Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Another telescope. And this is the 150 foot solar telescope. Solar means sun. Yeah, this telescope, you can look at the sun. Okay, before we go in, I have to tell you, Never look at the sun unless you have a solar telescope, okay? It's very important. It's not good for our eyes. <laughs> good job. All right, let's go. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Check this out. Whoa. Look at all of these charts. Whoa, and graphs. <laughs> Ooh, and some pictures of the sun. Yeah, we're definitely in the right place to find the solar telescope. Let's see, where could it be? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Cool! Yeah, here it is! Whoa! 
It is so cool. And remember how I said it's a 150 foot solar telescope? Yeah, that's because the telescope itself is 150 feet tall. Yeah, that's really tall. That's about 50 meters. Whoa. All right. You never want to look directly at the sun, okay? And the only reason why we're going to be able to see the sun is because we're using a solar telescope. Not a normal telescope, a solar telescope. All right, are you ready? <laughs> oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? Yeah, this is a live image of our sun. Yeah, this light is coming down and hitting this white piece of paper. Yeah, so we can see our sun right now. This is so cool. Whoa, I love solar telescopes. Yeah. Whoa, I think we're in outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Blast off thousands of miles an hour. Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly out of orbit I'm a rocket that can take you into outer space Maybe you and aliens will come face to face I'll take you on a journey to the stars and back Making our own way cause we ain't got no track And so we need to use a seatbelt There's no gravity We are searching for Something planetary Heading home for Earth We do it gradually Gotta get back home To humanity Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly Far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Hasn't this been so much fun learning about outer space and telescopes together? Yeah! Hey, do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Yeah, there's actually eight. All right, so first we have our sun. Yeah, and then we have Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Earth, that's our planet, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune! Whoa! And all of these planets rotate around our sun. And we are in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't that so much fun today? Yeah, I had a great day with you learning about outer space. Yeah, aren't telescopes really cool? Yeah, so cool being able to see into outer space, seeing some planets, stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>Today, we're here at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. <laughs> and today, we get to go to Monster Jam. <laughs> yeah. Monster Jam is an event with monster trucks. <laughs> yeah. 
do you know what a monster truck is? You do? Have you seen one before? They are enormous! They are gigantic! <laughs> well, I'm really excited to see a monster truck. Oh, and maybe we can even meet the driver. <laughs> this is going to be so cool seeing them race and jump off ramps and maybe even do a flip. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to see a Monster Jam monster truck up close. <laughs> I've been driving around in my Flippy Mobile all day trying to find one. Hmm. Do you see a monster truck anywhere around here? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! It's a monster truck! <laughs> Whoa! It's so big! <laughs> no way! And look at who it is! Hey, what's up, Flippy? <laughs> It's professional Monster Jam driver, Barry Musauer! <laughs> Whoa, it's What's so good up? to see you! <laughs> it's great to be here, man. Whoa, and look at this! This monster truck is huge! <laughs> is this a Monster Jam monster truck? This is. This is Grave Digger, but this is a special Grave Digger because it actually can take passengers for a ride in a real Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, no way! Did you hear that? You can go for a ride in this monster truck! <gasps> that sounds so fun! <laughs> Oh, and Bari, is this your monster truck? No, my monster truck's actually inside. It's called Zombie, and it's got zombie arms on it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> can we take a closer look at your monster truck? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Oh, wait a minute. We can go there on the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> would you like to take a ride with me? I would love to go in the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Can we take a closer look? Yeah, come on, check it out! Whoa! What's your favorite thing about driving in a monster truck? Oh, aside from meeting all the great Monster Jam fans, I love doing donuts. Oh, a donut? Is that when you drive around in a circle? Whoa! Yep, and I also <laughs> like to eat donuts, too. Oh, I like to eat donuts, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're so yummy! Do you like to eat donuts, too? Yum! <laughs> Whoa! And this thing is so big! Yeah. Whoa, check it out! These wheels, they're enormous! These tires are 66 inches tall, and they are 43 inches wide, and they weigh 650 pounds! 650 <laughs> pounds? Oh! Yeah! Whoa, those are so big, so tall, and so heavy! Whoa, and what's this? This is the engine. This is a 540 cubic inch Merlin racing engine, and it runs on methanol for fuel, and man, is it powerful. Whoa, methanol? Hmm. So it doesn't use gasoline? Nope, methanol, it burns clean, and it gives us a whole lot of horsepower. Whoa, that's a lot of horsepower, and a lot of horses. <laughs> Ooh, well, what are these right here? Those are the shocks. You want to come check those out? Get a closer look? <laughs> okay, let's go take a closer look at the shocks. All okay, right. I'll see you around the back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at how tall Zombie is! Whoa! <laughs> it's taller than us! <laughs> oh, and these right here, are those the shocks? These are the shocks. They have 30 inches of travel in the back, 26 inches of travel in the front. That's how we absorb those huge, big air jumps. <laughs> Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah! A truck like this has shocks. So, if it takes a really big jump, <laughs> you can land nice and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and what's this right here? This is the wheelie bar, man. This is for when I'm doing those really cool slap wheelies and I get to drag this thing in the dirt and it keeps me from tipping over. <laughs> well, that's really important. You don't want to tip over your Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, and this box, is that where the fuel goes? That is where the fuel goes. Well, this is a pretty cool truck. You think you could show us how to drive it? Yeah, let me show you how to get in. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited because you and I get to go in the Monster Jam truck. <laughs> yeah, but first I ask permission from Bart. That's why I can climb up. 
And second, I'm not gonna drive it. Uh oh, <laughs> cause I'm not a professional. Yeah, and I'm gonna be nice and safe. Okay, time to climb up into zombie. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> zombie, oh, <laughs> hello. Whoa, I'm so high up. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, it must be really fun driving a monster jam truck. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, check it out! Zombie arms! Will you do some zombie arms with us? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> 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 gonna ride zombie! <laughs> Hey, Barry. Hey, Blippi, what's up, man? Whoa, what are you wearing? Man, this is my racing suit. Mine's decorated in zombie. Whoa, that is so cool. You see it? Yeah, he has a zombie racing suit, but why do you need to wear a racing suit? Well, you have to be safe. When it's time to race these trucks, safety is number one. Mm -hmm. And look, huh. I got you your very own jacket, too. <gasps> no way. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Let's put them on. Whoa, it's an official Monster Jam racing jacket. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This makes you really official, man. Whoa. Zip that thing right up. This is awesome. Whoa, check it out. It even has a zipper. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. You're going to be safe just like me. Awesome. Well, you get in the truck and we're going to watch you someplace really safe. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll get in. But wait, there's one more thing that I gotta have you wear to make sure you're really super safe, okay? <gasps> check this out. <gasps> Your very own Monster Jam Blippi helmet. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a Monster Jam Blippi helmet. <gasps> this is the best day ever. <laughs> Woo, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. All right, bud. <laughs> Woo. See ya. in the truck, I have my blippy helmet, <laughs> and we're ready to race. <laughs> See you soon. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Do you hear that? The engine is so loud! <laughs> Monster trucks are big. Monster. 
Monster trucks are loud. Monster trucks jump high in the sky and they make such a monstrous sound. Sing along with us. Monster trucks are big. Monster trucks are loud. Monster trucks jump high in the sky and they make such a monstrous sound. Oh, monster trucks in the air. Oh, monster trucks in the dirt. Oh, can you hear the engines are going so loud? Better cover your ears. Monster trucks have great big tires that crush the cars they land on. Monster trucks can jump so high I wonder if they can jump over the moon Sing along with us! Monster trucks have great big tires They crush the cars they land on Monster trucks can jump so high I wonder if they can jump over the moon Oh! Monster trucks in the air Oh! Monster trucks in the dirt, oh Can you hear their engines are going so loud? Better cover your ears Do you love monster trucks? <laughs> yeah, I love them too! They're so big and so cool! Hey, let's sing it again! Oh, monster trucks in the air Oh, monster trucks in the dirt Oh, can you hear their engines are going so loud? Better cover your ears Monster trucks are the coolest thing ever! <laughs> that was awesome! That was so cool seeing you drive zombies so fast! <laughs> oh man, thanks for coming out, Blippi. That was so much fun to show you, zombie. Thanks for showing me the Blippi Mobile. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, it was a blast learning so much from you all about Monster Jam, and it was really nice learning from a great driver. <laughs> I can't wait to do it all over again. But before you go, take your helmet with you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> you don't want to forget this. <laughs> thanks, Barry. I'll see you soon. All right, dude. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome being here today at Monster Jam. We saw some pretty cool trucks that were so big and so loud. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> OK, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
So it's like a passenger boat, just like how there's passenger buses. But this is a boat. Cool. Do you mind if we hop on board? Welcome aboard. Just watch your head. All right, come on. <laughs> wow. Check out this boat. Wow, it's so big and roomy in here. Yeah, I bet they can fit a lot of passengers on this boat. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Whoa, <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, a little life jacket or a life preserver. Whoa, definitely looks a little small for me. Oh, I can't even get it on. It's so small. Oh, these must be for children. Cool. <laughs> All right, we'll put those back. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what's in here. Whoa, yeah! A lot of life jackets. Whoa, and these are a lot bigger. I bet this would definitely fit me. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, life jackets help you float when you're going in the water. Yeah, you might have Worn one when you go swimming. All right, we'll put that right there. Oh, hey, wait a second. It even says Lil Toot. <laughs> cool. All right, there's that. Okay, let's see what else this boat has for us. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Doesn't this look like the boat's floor? Yeah, well actually it's something really cool. Let me show you. All right, I have to move these first. Whoa. And this one. All right, now for the special thing. All right. <laughs> Do you know what it's gonna be? All right, lift up this hatch. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! This is the engine of the boat! Whoa! This looks like an inline four cylinder, 56 horsepower diesel! No way! Whoa! So cool! Ooh, and right here, yeah, that's the oil filter. Yep, definitely the oil filter. Cool! <laughs> All right, we should probably close this so then we can go for a ride. Whoa. See you later, diesel engine. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Whoa. What's this called in here? It's the pilot house. It's where you steer the boat. Oh, the pilot house? Whoa, check it out. Speaking of steering the boat, whoa, it looks like the steering wheel. All right, turn it left. Whoa, turn it right. Whoa, cool. What's the left and the right called on a boat? Left side's the port side. Okay. And the starboard side is the right side. Wow, cool. And sometimes I see colors at night on boats on the left and the right the side. The red side is the port side. Okay. And the green side is the starboard side. Whoa, cool. Speaking of red, whoa, what do these knobs do? The red one's the throttle, makes the boat go faster or slower. Okay. The black one makes the boat go forward and backwards. Okay, so this one is the throttle. You push it forward, it goes super fast. But then, if you pull it back, it goes a lot slower. Ooh, and this one, if you push it forward, you go forward. And if you push it back and pull it back, you go in reverse. Whoa, cool. Hey, is this a radio? Whoa, hey. Hello, hello, Marina. This is Deckhand Blippy, and I'm here to help Captain Fred. We're gonna take a ride, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> cool. All right, put that back. Woo! And this, yeah. Can I pull it? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh yeah! It's the horn or the tutor on this boat. <laughs> cool. What else do you have here? What's this? This tells you how deep the water is, and this is the actual bottom of the water. Oh. And when we're out in the water, you'll actually see fish go by here. Okay, so if there's a fish underneath us between the bottom of the ocean and the boat, then you'll see a dot. Yeah, we'll be able to see fish. Cool. All right, this is so much fun. I'm so excited. 
to go for a ride. Is there any safety things we need to know about? Absolutely. Before we leave, we have to talk about safety. Okay, I'm ready. We are Coast Guard certified to carry 19 passengers. Wow, that's a lot. Children's life preservers are underneath the seats in separate containers. Oh yeah. And the adult life preservers are in the large box in the center. <laughs> Children's life preservers are for people that are under 90 pounds. Okay. And there's also life floats on top of the boat. Oh, cool. Are we ready to take it for a spin? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, all right, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, this boat is just floating on the water. And you can tell that we're still in the marina. Yeah, because there's a lot of boats. Whoa, boats? Speaking of boats, that one is so massive. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, check it out. Well, United States of America. Yeah. Boats love to fly their flags of the country that they're from. And this boat, yeah, it resides in the USA. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, do you see all those sailboats? Yeah, you can tell they're sailboats because the big mast in the center goes way high and that's what holds the sails. Whoa, cool! <laughs> Sailboats are really cool because they're powered by the wind! They don't even need an engine or a motor or nothing! <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day it is out here! It's nice and sunny. Good thing we have the top. I might get sunburned. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see those birds? Wow, there's so many of them! Yeah, those are actually California pelicans. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, hello. Hey, wow, their beaks are so massive. All right, see you later, pelicans. Bye-bye. Whoa, what a fun day this has been. Hasn't it been fun? Yeah, I love boats. <laughs> Hey, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a life jacket, it's because this is a Coast Guard certified boat. Yeah, and I'm older than the age requirement. <laughs> Hello, sea lions! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Wow, they look so relaxed! Just hanging out on that green buoy? That's a lot of sleeping. Oh! Thanks for taking us for a spin. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Do you mind if I steer the boat for a little? Do it. Wow. Whoa. This is really cool. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Do you mind? Go for it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have a fun time on the boat with me today? Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. 
Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Whoa, aloha. It's me, Flippy. And look at where I'm at. Today, I'm on Oahu, which is an island of Hawaii. Wow, isn't it beautiful here? Yeah, the trees are so green. There's so much green grass. And the shrubs and trees look so happy. Whoa. Hey, wouldn't it be really cool to see what this beautiful place looks like really high in the sky? Yeah. Why don't today we ride a helicopter and see what it looks like? And actually, Magnum Helicopters here on Oahu is coming here to give me a ride. Yeah, I'm so excited. Do you hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's so high! Whoa! Hey up there! Whoa! Wow, I am so excited. I bet everything is gonna look really small from up there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's landing! Oh! All right. Wow, I'm so excited. All right, now that the rotors are stopped, why don't we go say hi? <laughs> Whoa, that was really cool. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Doug. I'm the chief pilot at Magnum Helicopters. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Wow, this is a very cool helicopter. Whoa, how long have you been flying helicopters for? I've been flying for 20 years. Wow, 20 years? That's a very long time. Do you know how many hours you have flying helicopters? I have over 5,000 hours. Whoa! Now that is a lot of hours. Whoa, do you mind if I take a closer look at your helicopter? Not at all. Wow, come on! Whoa, what a colorful helicopter. It's the color orange. Ooh, and yellow. Ooh, and brown. Whoa! Hey, Doug, what's this thing for? That's just a step so the passengers can climb up into the helicopter. Oh, cool! Oh, yeah, and it looks like there's some seats back here. Ooh, and some seats up here. Whoa, how many people can fly in this helicopter? Uh, the pilot can bring four people with him if he wants. Wow, cool. And what kind of helicopter is this? This is an MD-500. Wow, MD-500. Whoa, and up there, I know what those are. Those are the rotors, right? That's right. Wow, and what does this rotor do? So the rotor, it spins around like a big fan and it blows the air down, creates lift, then lifts the helicopter up off the ground. Oh, cool. So this main rotor creates lift, so then the helicopter can fly. And there's another rotor back here that I know. Can we check it out? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. And this rotor is called the tail rotor. Whoa. Cool. And what does this do, Doug? This can spin the helicopter left and right, so it can face any direction that we want it to. All right. So the main rotor creates the lift, and then this rotor yeah, makes the helicopter turn. Really cool. Oh, and I know what that is. That's the boom, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And is this the number and letters of this exact helicopter? Yes, sir. They call it the tail number. Tail number. And I have a fun thing for us to do. Do you mind saying this with me at the same time? All right. All right, let's do it. N, N three, five, seven, M, H. Wow, awesome. Whoa, what's this, Doug? Oh, this is the engine back here. You want to see? Right. Yeah, I'd love to. All right. This is going to be so cool seeing the engine of a helicopter. Whoa, come check it out. Whoa, I'm going to be very careful because it might still be hot. Oh, it looks very complicated. Whoa, and back here, look how dirty it looks. This must be the exhaust. Whoa, thank you so much for letting us check out the engine of that helicopter. Whoa, can You're we welcome. check out the front? Yes, sir. All right. Come on hey, this way. Wait a second. I know what these are. These are landing skids, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Why are they so unique looking compared to an airplane? They have wheels and tires, right? Right. An airplane has wheels because it has to land moving forward on a runway and has to slow down. But a helicopter can slow down before it lands on the ground and actually go straight down. Wow, cool. So helicopters can go many, many places because they can land and take off completely vertical like that. Oh, cool. Whoa, and this is where you sit? Yes, it is. On this side? Mm-hmm, that's the pilot seat right there. Oh, cool. Ooh, and what's this called? This is called the collective. Oh, collective. I remember that. That's what controls the vertical lift, right? 
Right, makes the helicopter go up and down. Oh, cool. And this is the cyclic? Yes. And what do you use that for? That can steer the helicopter. Oh, cool. And look at all those gauges. What are all those gauges for? Oh, we have gauges to keep an eye on uh, the engine, also how high we fly and how fast we're flying. Wow, they look very complicated. <laughs> you must be very smart. <laughs> wow, and there's different types of helicopters, right? Mm -hmm. Like firefighting helicopters, like rescue helicopters, or police helicopters. And what do you say this is? This is an air tour helicopter. Ooh, an air tour. Oh, perfect. I was actually thinking I could go for a ride around here. Oh, and this would be a great helicopter for it. Because do you see the doors? No, you don't, because there's no doors. <laughs> do you mind if we go for a spin? That'd be great. All right, where should I sit? I'll come around here, hop in the front seat with me. All right, <laughs> cool. Oh, so just climb on in? Sure, climb on up. All right. <laughs> cool. Whoa, it's so high up here. Wow, so cozy. How do I get, get started? Well, let's put your seatbelt on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, just like in a car. Gotta buckle up. All right, all right, now what? Now take that orange headset right there, put that on so we can talk to each other. Oh, cool. Yeah, orange is one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> all right. Hello, hello. So are you gonna wear one too? Yes, I will. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, here we go. Wow, it feels so cool to be flying. Whoa, look at those trees to the left. Wow, oh, they're so green. Whoa, check this out. That is a big mountain. Do you see how steep it is? Wow, it goes straight up and down. Whoa, let's head to the ocean. Whoa, check it out. That looks like a small town next to the ocean. Wow, wouldn't it be nice to live there? <laughs> Whoa, and look over there. There's that big mountain we saw from the ground. Wow, it is so cool how there's trees at the very tippy top of it. Wow, now that is some blue water. Wow, Doug, you are such a great pilot. You brought me all the way out to the ocean. Wow, isn't the ocean so vast? I bet there's a lot of sea creatures that live out here. Wow, look at the top of the mountain. Do you see that town down there? Wow, I bet they have some pretty views. Not like views like these though. It's like we're a bird. Kaka! <laughs> this is so beautiful. Now that is a deep valley. Whoa, and the beaches stretch for so long. Whoa, <laughs> you can't even see rocks on these mountains. They're totally covered by trees and bushes and grass. I bet there's some animals that live in here. Whoa, check out that waterfall. It is so tall. Wow, it looks like the water starts from the top and falls all the way down to the bottom. Wow, cool. This is so beautiful. It's like I'm a bird just flying anywhere and everywhere I wanna go. Well, <laughs> wherever Doug, you wanna take me. <laughs> Whoa, the sun is coming out. This is so beautiful. Wow, I bet we could get a suntan today. Hey, Doug, thank you so much for flying so safe. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa, look at this. I can see beach, I can see farmland, I can see mountains. Wow, Oahu is such a special place and so beautiful. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like something's in the water. Oh, I know what that is. That's coral. <laughs> yeah, they're actually living organisms and they look so cool from the air. Whoa, look at all these instruments and gauges. They are very hard to read, but they tell the pilot very important information. Wow, look at Doug use that cyclic so then we can fly real safe. Whoa, what are these things? They're circles, but wait a second, what is this? 
Oh, I know what this is. This is a sandbar. Yeah, that's just sand underneath the water, but just, just a little bit underneath the water. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. This is the University of Hawaii's island. This is where they study a lot of cool things, like marine life, creatures, and plants. It's really cool. Oh, there's the patch of ground that we took off from. Oh, I bet Doug is going to land right here. Whoa! <laughs> this was so much fun! Wow, and now we're back safe on the ground. Wow, that was so much fun. Thanks for the ride, Doug. You're welcome, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, let's get out of here. He has another tour to go on. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun, wasn't it? I know. Wow, we got to see a lot of cool things. We got to see that waterfall. Whoa, that water looks so fresh. Oh, and all that coral. Yeah, at the beach. Wow, I sure do love Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful place. See it spinning up? Wow. And weren't those mountains really tall? They're way taller when you're up in the high sky, huh? Whoa, they're spinning so fast. <laughs> I hope the next tour, they have a great time. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa I sure do love Hawaii, and I love learning how helicopters work with you. Whoa. Well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Aloha. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> yeah, this water park is amazing. There are water rides and big slides to go down. <laughs> but today, you and I have a special mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a pearl. <laughs> well, not just any pearl, a really, really big pearl. It's called the Mother Pearl. <laughs> hey, will you help me look for it? Awesome! Let's go! <laughs> no pearls here! <laughs> hey, do you know what a pearl looks like? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a really tiny ball. <laughs> and that reminds me, do you know the story of the lost pearl? <laughs> yeah, it's a really fun story. <laughs> yeah, it's about a village where people used to dive for pearls. Yeah, they would dive to the ocean and find pearls in little oysters. <laughs> yeah, they would find the pearls, and one day they found a really big pearl. Yeah, the mother pearl, and it brought them lots of good luck. But one day, a really big storm came. Whoa! <laughs> and they lost the pearl. We want to find it. <laughs> oh, hey, storm. That storm was so big, it was kind of like... A tornado. <laughs> Good thing they have a tornado right here. Let's go ride it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This place is so cool. <laughs> yeah, look, it's so rocky and it looks like maybe there was a shipwreck here <laughs> with some treasure. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like there's a water slide back there. Hey, I know. That water slide is called the Wama. Yeah. That's the Arabic word for tornado. Whoa! <laughs> hey, do you remember the story? Yeah, the story of the lost pearl. They lost the mother pearl because a big storm, a big tornado, blew it away. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if we ride this ride, we can find the mother pearl. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look. Check it out! This slide is huge! <laughs> oh, do you see? It's so big. <laughs> Maybe if we ride this ride, the mother pearl will be down there. <laughs> Ooh, you notice? This slide is so colorful. <laughs> yeah, it's the colors blue and red. Woo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm going to go ride it. 
<laughs> Whoa! We made it to the top of the llama! I can't wait to ride! Oh! Hello! Hello. I'm Flippy, what's your name? My name is Irina! Oh, it's nice to meet you! Nice to meet you! Do you think I could go on the ride? Yes! They exactly need one person to ride! Oh, yeah! Okay! Let's join them! Okay, let's go! <laughs> big tank of water <laughs> and look there's a shipwreck and some crates <laughs> let's go take a closer look come on <laughs> this place is awesome yeah this tank of water is so big there's all kinds of things in the water look hmm. it looks like hmm, there's a bowl and <laughs> some really big bricks <laughs> There's coral. Ooh, <laughs> coral's so beautiful. <laughs> hey, do you see that right there? Whoa, do you know what that is? That's an oyster. Yeah, an oyster is a sea creature. Whoa, and an oyster makes pearls. Beautiful pearls, yeah. Sometimes a little thing that bothers an oyster like sand gets in its mouth. <laughs> but after a long time, Oyster turns that little piece of sand, or whatever it is, <laughs> into a beautiful pearl. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? I bet this is where people dive for pearls. Oh, dive for oysters. <laughs> yeah, they find the oysters with the pearls inside. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> well, look, it's a person. <laughs> Whoa, and look, he's diving. Yeah. I think he wants me to come with him. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, hi. hi, I'm Flippy, what's your name? My name's Silas. Oh, it's nice to meet you. And are you the diving instructor? Yes, please. <laughs> please keep diving. Where are you gonna be diving? Find oysters. Oysters, <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it okay if I come in the pool? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, check it out, it's a mask. Yes, Ooh. so you have to check it, put, your, put it on, then check. <laughs> yeah, we want to put on the mask first before we start diving. Mm. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> they don't fit over my glasses, I think so. I need to take off your glasses. <laughs> yeah, you got to take those off first. Whoa, <laughs> look. All right, now oh. check it. Just put your head in water and check oh. if it's safe for you. Okay, yeah, we don't want to get any water in our mask. So, here we go. Yeah! The water getting inside. Yeah. All right, so now, before you dive in, you need to equalize. Ooh. So you need to pop your ears to be more oh. safe. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's called equalizing your ears. <laughs> when you dive in the water, if it's really deep, it feels kind of uncomfortable on your ears. So, pop your ears. <laughs> you can pop your ears out, yeah. Huh. Feels nice and relaxing. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Here we go! <laughs> Time to dive for some oysters! Yes, are you ready to dive for the oysters? Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Ooh, let's see how many we can find! Alright! Here we go! <laughs> let's go!
we found. Ooh, here, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Whoa, look. You see what that is? Yeah, it's an oyster. And looks like we have a couple of them. <laughs> One oyster, two, three oysters, four oysters, and Whoa, <laughs> check it out, five oysters. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, and look at them. Yeah, they're kind of the color brown, light brown. Hmm. Ooh, and they're really smooth. Whoa, <laughs> the best part about an oyster is there are pearls inside. Yeah, they're nice and safe inside the oyster. <laughs> well, we don't want to open up these oysters to get the pearl because I'm not looking for regular pearls. I'm looking for the mother pearl. <laughs> we should keep looking around. Maybe we'll find it. <laughs> keep your eyes open. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the bandits hideout. Whoa, <laughs> this is where the bandits live. Ooh. Do you remember the story of the lost pearl? <laughs> yeah, there was a big tornado. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, and then they lost the mother pearl. You know what happened next? Yeah, bandits came and took the mother pearl. <laughs> that was not very nice. <laughs> hey, do you know what a bandit is? Yeah, a bandit is someone who takes things that don't belong to them. Whoa, and look, whoa, there's a bandit. Whoa, whoa, run. Ah! Ooh, keep your eyes open. You need to find the mother pearl. Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> hi. It's Donna. Oh, hi, Donna. I'm Blippi. <laughs> oh, do you remember the story of the lost pearl? Yeah. The pearl was lost because of a tornado. It was taken by bandits, <gasps> but it was found. Yeah, found by Donna. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Well, we've also been looking for the mother pearl today. You think you can help us find it? <gasps> you can? <laughs> Great. Well, do you know where it is? Oh, you do? Where is it? Oh, whoa, check it out! It's up there! It's been here this whole time! <laughs> oh, well, thank you for helping us find it, Donna. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! I had so much fun today at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, we did some pretty cool things. We rode the tornado, we met a bandit, we went diving for pearls, and Donna helped us find the mother pearl. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Beep!